My father coughed and took another draft of wine. Melius sought aid from Salerno, while Datus fortified a tower on the Galiliano River. From there, they gathered support and renewed their strength. Melius reached far for help. Lombards, Germans, and Apuleans answered the call, eager for glory and plunder. But there was one more group whose help Melius enlisted. A new generation of Norman adventurers, forebears of the scum who attack our city as we speak. It is because of Melius that this new menace is upon us. In response, the Byzantine Emperor sent the General Basil Boyanus and an elite force of the fabled Varangian Guard to meet Melius in the field and crush the rebellion for good. The armies drew up near the river of Fanto, not far from where the Romans had clashed with Hannibal of Carthage some 12 centuries earlier. The fate of Mussolini was about to be decided. Commander Boyoannes, Melus and his allies ready their forces across the river. Lead us to a swift victory and end the terror that they have brought to Apulia. Day to grind an axe. We will lay your enemies low or die trying. His forces threaten our camp. Send forth all of his herbs.
Earth, shield-bearing Norman riders approach, led by Gilbert Botter. May fortune guide our spears. Let us now see whose blades are sharper. My men will cut through your ranks like a scythe through grey. Salve! Condo! Presto! Condo!
Primero. Segundo. Ein correcto. Ein Salve. Segundo. Odio. Presto. Odio. Salve, correcto, oh. caer, pero hay, correcto, hay, caer.
Tal vez. ¿Cuándo? Centuries ago, a barbarian horde massacred our Roman forebears on this very field. Now, it is the barbarians who lie slain beyond count.
Your day has fallen, and his Norman knights take to flight. Fortune is with us, Commander. Unlike its predecessor, the Second Battle of Karnai was a massacre. The Lombards and their Norman allies were no match for Boyanus' strategic prowess and the ferocity of his Varangian troops. Melius fled the field and sought refuge with the Pope, which sent him to the court of the Holy Roman Emperor. He gradually poisoned the minds of several influential courtiers, and eventually the Emperor himself. Melius died in exile, but the effects of his political machinations were soon to be felt throughout Italy. 